Hello everyone, Pally Time here. Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls. We find ourselves at the precipice of Anne Orlando. That's a good word. Precipice, not Anne Orlando. Although Anne Orlando is a pretty good word. Hi, Smo! Excuse me, Smo. Oh, I sprinted over here a little too much, but we're good. We got it. What do you drop? A crystal halberd. Um, we are going to be heading in to the Duke's archives today, and I am going to do my best to prove once and for all that Big Hat Logan is a time traveler. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to do it all in this video or if it's something that I should say for the next video, uh, because it is kind of a rather long process to see everything, but uh, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. First things first. Ouch. That hurt. Almost killed him, actually. That Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. These guys have the butt plate, so you can't backstab them. Like the other one. The other one, you could just walk up behind him and shove your sword very deep into his rectum. Uh, these guys, on the other hand, came with a little bit more protection. I think the Duke and his ever-growing knowledge was just sitting up there in, this, in his little watchtower looking down on this place going, You know what? That's a flaw in these pigs, and I'm going to make it better. Come on up here, friend. Power attack. Reposition. Power attack. That is the worst fucking attack I've ever seen. Power attack! And then we power attack. One last time, I think we should power attack. <laughs> I don't know if you guys frequent Twitch a lot, but I was watching um, Lethal Frag. He's a prominent streamer. He was playing pinball, the Star Trek pinball game, like the actual table of it. And there was this mode where it was like a bonus round for doing a certain thing. And in the bonus round, you would be like going through these tunnels and trying to get bonus points. And it was just saying, 10 million, 10 million, 10, 10 million, 10 million, 10 million, 10 million. <laughs> you got re like, it was that quick. I was like, really? They couldn't have uh, made that a little bit more pleasant. Maybe it's supposed to sound exciting because it's so many points so quickly. But as someone who, A, wasn't playing the game, and B, doesn't, you know, doesn't know what his high score was, so I didn't know what he was going for. He was just kind of like, wow, that's they're saying 10 million a lot. Lethal Frag wasn't the one saying that for the record. It was the pinball table. Just pointing that out. He is a gentleman and a scholar. I don't want to sound like I'm shit-talking him. Okay, this place hurts. What the fuck? I'm killing these guys because we need to kill that blue crystal guy at the top right of the screen. And these guys just kind of swarm you while you're doing it. No respect. There we go. So we do have the option of going back to... Uh, going back to get some more Estus Flask. I don't think I'm going to do it, though. Keep on moving. Keep on keeping on. The Broken Pendant. That allows us to access the DLC. We have a child kidnapper in front of us who juked me out. Motherfucker. That's what you get. All right. So. We all know the story about how Big Hat Logan was was on a quest to get to the Duke's archives to unlock the secrets of magic. We also know from talking to Solaire that there are ripples in time and one hero may not be here the next moment because they'll go back in time or whatever. Uh, I've already passed the item I want to talk to you about, but we'll go look at it once I kill off all these guys. Hello, friend. All right. I think we have our privacy. Our privacy. So. 
Everyone thinks Big Hat Logan came in here to learn the crystal magic. He wanted to become a mortal. He wanted to be like Seath the Scaleless. He wanted to figure out how to live forever. And what better way to do that than to be a time traveler? Now, this place is full of knowledge, full of books. We can't even access the majority of it because we are limited to the first three floors. But on the first floor, there is one particular book that maybe you have noticed before. It is the book that is stuck in time. There's nothing holding this up. You can walk right through it. It is a magical book that unlocks the secrets of time travel. Look at it. Embrace it. Big Hat Logan finds this book and gets thrown into jail. And I can prove it. Kind of, you know. All of his, all of the Dark Swords lore is open to interpretation. This is how I interpret Big Hat Logan. This is how I interpret Big Hat Logan. Uh, we are going to have to kill one more enemy. And he hits very hard. But I believe he has uh, Havel animations. I think. I seem to remember that for some reason. Yes, he does. Stand up, sir. Sit down, sir. All right, we need to equip the Ring of Sacrifice. We have enough humanity, we probably won't get cursed. Uh, if we do get cursed, that's going to fucking suck. Uh, it won't be the end of the world, but it's going to suck. Uh, if you were a caster, you could equip the Ring of... Oh, there you go. The Dust Crown Ring. Go ahead and equip that. It'll bring your health down to half. And then you just re-equip the Ring of Sacrifice, and you can see you, you lose a little bit more health. The goal here is to die as fast as possible. This is Seath the Scaleless. He's an immortal dragon, uh, and right now you literally cannot kill him. You just walk in here and you die. So you want to die before you get cursed, and the curse bar is the thing in the middle of the screen. But we're good. We have some pretty decent curse resistance with all this humanity. We use the Ring of Sacrifice so we don't lose any souls. And we shouldn't lose our humanity either. I hope. And then we will go back. Yeah, we're good. And then we get taken into jail. Now this happened to Big Hat Logan as well. He was brought in here. He was captured. And he was taken to jail. I get it. The Ring of Sacrifice shattered. Got it. Thank you. Oh my god. It was just sitting on the screen all fucking year. Um, here we go. Excuse me, sir. The Archive Tower Key. Prepare for the most annoying sound of all time. Oh, I thought these guys were just trying to get out of here. Why is he fighting me? This guy won't fight me. I like this guy more. Uh, we don't have... Ugh. We don't have any Estus, so I guess I'll just use humanity on the way down. We are going to encounter some of these squid heads. These squid heads are excellent for farming humanity. Also, if you don't know, the more humanity you have up to 10 the better your chance to find items. So by having more than 10 humanity, we have a pretty good chance of getting more humanity off of these guys. It's an endless circle. Also, you could use the ring out of Sen's House of Fun. Uh, we didn't pick that up. I'm going to go back and get it before the series ends, just for the record. Don't jump at me. Rude. So these are people that were brought into the Duke's archives by the child kidnappers, who are the channelers, the ones who dance around with the staves and shoot spells at us. We killed one of them on the way in here. 
I mean, if, if people kidnapping children can be accepted lore, why can't time traveling wizards be accepted lore? When the most respected person in this game, Solaire, says that time travel is possible. And it happens all the time. Everyone just kind of neglects that. I feel bad for killing these guys because they are maidens. Uh, they were kidnapped. They have these spells. These miracles, rather. But, you know, they were just sitting over there crying. If I actually turned off the the music or alarm, whatever the fuck it is upstairs, you'd be able to hear them just kind of whimpering in the corner. Which is always fun. Always fun to deal with. Why, hello. How'd that stagger feel, bruh? How'd that stagger feel, bruh? We'll just use this pillar to line of sight those lightning bolts. And we'll take care, to care of the last enemy now. In this chest, we find the key to go upstairs. The archive tower giant door key, which is way up above us, actually. Okay, turn this fucking thing off. Okay, I just want you to notice how sarcastic Big Hat Logan sounds when we show up. Because he already knows we save him. Because he's a time traveler at this point. Hello again. What a chance meeting this is. Alas, I'm imprisoned once again. I don't suppose you could stage me a getaway. The archives. Such a storehouse of knowledge. So close, but just out of reach. The thought offends me, so I could simply die. As a student of the arts, you understand me, eh? I could simply die. Such a sarcastic asshole. So, we have to go get a key for him, which we should be able to do on 8 humanity. Now, losing all of my humanity probably isn't a good idea, so it is possible to rest here, and there wouldn't be too much of a downside to doing that. We'd have to kill these enemies again. Not a big deal. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that, actually. Once we get back up to our cell, I'll go ahead and have a little sit-down. That'll give us five Estus Flasks. If I'm playing well today, which, I mean, I'm doing all right, that should be enough to get us through the entirety of this place, or at least what we what we have to do. So we'll go ahead and sit down here. We can level up as well. I didn't realize I had that many souls on me. Go one point into vitality. 32. Making our vitality even with our dexterity. We're just going to ignore these guys. Because they didn't aggro me for some reason. I'm so used to coming through here with the aggression mod that it's weird when they don't just chase after me. Alright. Use the key we found above Big Hat Logan's cell. And we make it out in one piece. We make it out alive. Hello. Goodbye. I always thought it was mean how they try to trick you into fighting that archer. When that guy's just sitting in the corner waiting. I also want to know how long they've been sitting there. Like, are breakouts that frequent? Are they just like, okay, sir, here's your bow. Stand here and wait. Child kidnapper, give me your trident. I want it. Fuck you. Get off the side. We actually do a ton of damage with this weapon. That's pretty encouraging. It's not even at the max... Um, it's not even the maximum upgrade either. We have one more upgrade we can do to it. It's only at plus four right now. Okay, we need to go up here. We need to stand in this middle area and turn the thing. Go ahead and top our health off. Well, good thing I topped my health off because it brought us back down to the same point when we got shot in the face by some motherfucker. You know, I use motherfucker on my channel as an endearing term and also as an insult. It's kind of hard to keep up. <laughs> I think I mean, it can go either way at any, any point in time. <laughs> Holy shit, I was invaded. Holy shit, I was invaded. 
I'm uploading like 12 videos right now. This is going to be the laggiest invasion I've ever seen. Well, whatever. All we need to do is head over here and open up our shortcut. There we go. Go ahead and open up this shortcut as well. And in here somewhere is the key. We have another mimic here. Hopefully he lets me get the key first. Be kind of rude if he didn't. Hold on. Oh, I don't know where the key is. Hold on, let me wave to him. He was being nice. Hello. All right, we'll just go to our respective quarters now. Where we just fighting? Okay. Whatever you want to do, I'm ready. Man, he is polite. Oh, what's what's that? Well, thank you. He just gave me ten Titanite slabs. Cause why not? Hold on, let's give him something. <laughs> um, here. Oh, I can't drop that. Um. Oh, let's give him this. Oh, let's give him. Let's give him that. Oh. Here, here. Get, get this. Take, take, take that. Oh! We're the nicest! <laughs> Alright. Alright, we're gonna fight now. Only in Dark Souls. Only in Dark Souls. I tried to parry. It did not work. Wow, he has some poise. Look at that. He just ate a ton of attacks. I'm not going to chase you around a corner. There we go, we died. That's okay. He was a gentleman and a scholar. A gentleman and a scholar. Plus, we got all the shortcuts we needed opened anyway. My keys have been in my pocket this whole time. They're really starting to bug my leg. Okay. So back we go. Uh, all we have to do is go down to the bottom floor. His key's down there somewhere. I think it's where he sits. Or something. I don't remember. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> Enjoy the swag sword. The swag sword. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, I don't want to. Oh, this stupid ass thing. I'm done sending the message. I'm done. No, I'm done. I'm done sending the message. I'm done sending the message. Oh, my God. No, I don't want to discard the message. Oh, fucking, what the dick kind of fucking shit is this? I'm gonna click on it then. It's stupid that you can't do this without a fucking using your mouse. Just saying, they do it on the Xbox all the time. All the time! Are you gonna send it? Are we seriously gonna... You're just gonna... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now back to where we were. Oh, God. He sent me another message. If it's anything like the last one, it's going to take me 20 minutes to reply to it. Okay. Oh, you respawn? I forgot you respawn. Give me the trident. We need to go back and get my humanity. 
It actually took three swings to kill him that time, as opposed to the two from earlier. I liked it much more when it was only two swings. Ouch. Nailed it! Nailed it! You know how long it's been since I've done that jump? Oh my god. I got it. I still got it. I don't think they come in here. So is this where the key is? No? It's around here somewhere. So this where the key is? No! Oh! No. Ah! Don't you dare. Don't you dare hit me. Da -da 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 and then we could just use a homer bone if we wanted to. I only have three. Okay, down we go. Excuse me. The squid heads are actually pretty easy to deal with when they're in that room together. Usually. Usually. You know, I didn't really know we could stagger those snake guys so easily. I also never turned in <laughs> those firekeeper souls that I got to the, to the lady that upgrades them. They're still kind of just sitting in my inventory. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good at this game. Alright, squid heads. Now, when the music's not playing, the squid heads can't leave the room. So use that to your advantage. If you're not confident in your squid slaying abilities, stand out of the room. I'm dead. Stand out of the room, snipe the motherfuckers. I think I'll do just that. Oh, what's the problem? You can't leave. We deal a decent amount of damage with a bow. Pretty respectable amount of damage with the bow, I'd say. It could be better, don't get me wrong, but it couldn't be much. Whoa! Fucking what the... Uh, asshole! Do I have the dagger? There's the dagger. Alright, dick. You're getting parried. <laughs> I'm just down here minding my own business. Killing some squid heads. Why do you care what I... Yeah, that's right. You go back up that ladder. Fuck. Don't let me catch you coming back down here. Don't let me catch you coming back down here. They are just lunging at me like crazy. There we go. Hey, Logan. Hello again. What a chance meeting this is. Alas, I'm imprisoned once again. I don't suppose you could stage me a getaway. The archives. The thought of as a student. There you go, Logan. Oh, thank you very much. I'm saved. That makes twice. I must be sure to repay you. I will visit the archives. If I discover any new spells, I shall share them with you. Prepare to be impressed by the onward march of sorcery. All right, Logan, I'll see you later. Okay, Firekeeper Soul. Um, now, when we talk to him, he should say the same thing. Hello. Don't mind me. Go on ahead. I'll head out soon. I wish to lay down my plans before I visit the archives. He wants to write in his time traveler's journal. Hello. Okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and recall. We'll head back down into the archives to the main bonfire. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you guys everything. Because I just don't have the, the souls for it. But I should be able to explain it, no problem. 
I nailed it again! Fuck yes! It's twice in one video! I like that jump. Fucking stupid chair. Damn it. I'm gonna have to kill some dudes when they come up here now because that chair blocked me for so long. Or not. Okay, so Big Hat Logan is now relocated over to a new spot, which is going to be right over here. Well, hello, Logan. How are you? Hello there. I was expecting... Because he's a time traveler. This place is truly magnificent. More than expected. As promised, I shall share the new sorceries with you and the secret of Seath's immortality. So he knows the secret of Seath's immortality. Which, you know, we know too. It's just a fucking crystal. But, but, let's talk to him. Ah, the secret of Seath's immortality. If you were fought him and were imprisoned, you must know that Seath is a true undead, different from ourselves. His wounds close promptly, and no mortal blow affects him, granting true insulation from death. His wounds close promptly, and no mortal Affecting, granting true insulation from death. It is an effect of the primordial crystal. A sacred treasure pillaged by Seath when he turned upon the ancient dragons. So only by destroying the primordial crystal can you so much as scratch his hide. And it so happens. The primordial crystal is in the inner garden of these very archives. The crystal forest. The tomes stored in these archives are truly magnificent, a great pool of knowledge, the fruits of superior wisdom and an unquenchable desire for the truth. Some would say Seath had an unsound fixation, but his work is a beautiful, invaluable resource. All progress demands sacrifice, and I certainly bear no antipathy for that wonderful scale. The tomes stored in these are All progress demands sacrifice. So here's my theory on why he goes crazy. Because Big Hat Logan does indeed go crazy. Uh, how much of this can I buy? Not much more. Just wasted all of my souls and there's still a lot to go. But... When you purchase all of the spells from him and talk to him again, he suddenly seems like he doesn't recognize you when you are the person who has led him on this journey through all of this stuff. Hello. And it's important to note that right now, he knows crystal magic. He's already telling you crystal magic. He learned crystal magic already, and he's totally fine. He's telling you about all this stuff. He's sharing secrets with you. We're still his best friend. Now, the Time Traveler's book from the front. He learns how to time travel. He starts going around. He starts seeing places. He somehow ends up back in time. Back in the DLC area. We know that the Abyss can drive people mad because Knight Artorias is just a husk of a person that he used to be. So black magic can corrupt you. By the time we earn enough souls and come back to Logan, yes, he may still be sitting in the same spot, but he has been to a ton of places. The black magic has corrupted him and he doesn't recognize you anymore. Then he strips off all of his clothes and starts dancing up in Seath's room because he thinks he's immortal. Because he's done gone crazy. So, through progressing and learning how to time travel, the sacrifice was the mind of Big Hat Logan. There you go. Big Hat Logan is a time traveler. I believe it with all my heart. Share! Share! The prophecies of Big Hat Logan. If you, if you agree with them, I know some people think I'm fucking retarded, but seriously, I like that story. I think it's a good one. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and I'll see you all next time. Okay, bye.